Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is good to be back. We're just jumping right into the thick of things. I, there was a lot of stuff that happened last week and the week before, and just things kept compiling. But we're back, and we're ready to rock and roll. Today, Diamond League 4v4 is taken off. First match, Harpia against 14th BFS. Let's take a look at who's flying for these guys as they are already taken off into the air. Harpia represented by Derby, Trigger, Garrick, and Mazzucato. 14th BFS is going to be Steiny, Single Shot, and Kraut, and Cookie. But while these guys are taking off and before they get into combat, let's take a look at the highlight video here right quick. All right. All right. Single Shot. Single shot in Derby, inside seven miles, trading 120s. This is usually a no escape situation for both of these guys. Derby able to notch his, but single shot, thinking he's gotten away from it. Missile reacquires, single shot takes one, unlubricated, he's down. Derby with the victory. These guys are rocking and rolling. Mazzucato in the F-14 on the left for Harpia and 14 Steiny on the right, F-16. What are these guys taking? Well, Harpia, they've got six heaters among them and 14 has zero. Those highlights are looking and sounding very professional. Mazzucato, thank you very much. It was, uh, I gotta give Thrustmaster the props on that one. They came up with the idea of what they wanted. They wanted a voiceover. And I also got to give mad props to my man Alpha Whiskey for the deliver of, delivery of picking the combat se sequences. And then I do the voiceover. So we're going to try and get ahead and progressively get ahead here. Um, hopefully we'll be releasing this stuff earlier and earlier and earlier. But now we're in the match. Turn some stuff down. Should be ready to rock and roll. So guys, I did run Fight for Honor over the weekend. Music's a little bit quiet. Is music even playing? Good question. Music. Why you no play? Let's see. Oh, it should be coming out. But it's not. have to go music list today it was working I hate voice meter for this particular stuff huge pain in the ass but while these guys are ingressing let me change the cameras here a smidge so we can look at somebody else uh, attack view cloud view bots like drunk I don't know why he doesn't like to work anymore how were the fight for honor mat the fight for honor matches? They were good. They were decent. I enjoyed them. Um, I got to get used to, you know, talking over the real fighter pilots and just saying, "Hey, shut up! I'm commentating here." A little intimidated because Mover wanted me to commentate, but then they talked a lot, so I just I didn't want to be an asshole and talk over them. So, you know, it is it is what it is. But these guys are ingressing mission location is a Napa against Maycop. Let's do it without music today. Might have to change from Streamlabs. Uh, I'm not on Streamlabs. I'm on OG OBS. But I, I don't know why music isn't working. Voice meter's just being dumb. So... Yeah. Should be outputting. It should be working. I can see it working. I can definitely see it working. Let me try and add another voice meter source. Nope, it is 
don't want to work, so we're just going to ignore it. Oh, that one works. Weird. All right. You guys should have these now. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. CJ Speckle dropping the 100 bits. Thank you very much. That just goes straight into making the stream better. We all love it. Let me copy this to make sure we need it on a different camera. You got music over here? Of course not. Of course we don't. That's okay. We do now. So I'm just going to go through and paste all these. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we're going. Now we're cooking. We're not cooking. But now we are. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know why that black bar is being that way, but we're just not going to use that, that view. All right. So we're going dreadnought dropping the 300 bits thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and they are launching missiles aim 54 out from mazzucato sorry guys we missed this but aim 54 out from mazzucato single shot is defending here shingle shot shingle shot shingle shot no it's single shot defending 120 out from the north that's going to be launched from steiny that missile is coming in on harpia's derby here's harpia's derby going through a defensive maneuver, split us and diving away. He should be okay. Don't see any problems for him in that maneuver. No other missiles are out. So only missiles that have been launched are going to be from... Going to be from Harpia. No, we've got I, two from Harpia and now three coming from 14th VFS. So don't listen to anything I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just full of crap. Full of crap! They gave me many more label scales. 150%. Look at that. That's like the perfect size. Thanks, Sackview. Franz, you the man. You the man. But we got missiles now coming in from Garrick onto Steiny and who's his wingman? Kraut. Neither of those look like they're going to connect. We got the history. So that should be good. You guys can see where they've flown. So let me know how screwed up things are. Trigger says, just check. This 4v4 match was streamed last week. Maltar, I think today was supposed to be our match. Well, we're doing it again, Trigger. We're doing it again. I don't know why it didn't show that this was streamed, but, you know, we got to do it again. We got to do it again. So we're going to see what happens. Single shot coming in from the north. It's an AIM-120. Coming in onto Trigger. Here's that missile as it cooks in onto its opponent. And people probably don't even remember what happened. Raptor Dad gifting the tier one sub. Thank you very much, brother. Missile encroaching, no longer tracking. That missile is gone. And now single shot dragging a 120 is F-16. Here we go. Make sure everybody's awake. Make those ears bleed. Another AIM-54 down to the south, coming on to Kraut. Kraut in the F-16 needs to do something against this AIM-54. We can see it on the right side, but he notches it. Kraut, great job notching the telephone pole. Fantastic work there. Lee lives to fight another day. Mazzucato, after launching that AIM-54, passes Garrick, who again is going to be ingressing. Launches a 120. Here is Garrick in the F-18. Garrick in the F-18 is going to have many, many missiles. Launches again onto Kraut. Is Kraut going to be able to defend this? Kraut in the F-16 diving away. He's still got 4-6 on his F-16. Looks like he should be fine. Do we see the 120? I don't yet. I don't. I don't. There it is. Two miles away. No problem. He's going to be A-OK. -okay. Up to the north. Still everybody alive. Cookie and single shot engaging Derby and Trigger. Down to the south. Kraut and Steiny trying to stay alive against Mazzucato and Garrick. 
but we may have a 4v2 situation being created up to the north as Mazzucato and Garrick come up to rejoin Derby and Trigger against Single Shot and Cookie. This could be bad. Cookies may crumble here against the four ship. What can Single Shot and Cookie do in this situation up to the north? Single Shot having four sticks still left on his aircraft, running away now from an incoming incoming trigger trigger in the f-18 unleashing the 120 120 up up and away one mile away from his jet that missile is going to be coming in on the trigger trigger or excuse me cookie getting the missile warning off to his right puts it on his nine line now breaks away missiles two and a half miles away now two miles three missiles still on the jet for cookie he should be a-okay i think he's going to be fine he indeed does get away from that incoming threat no problem at all now another aim 54 coming out from mazzucato down to the south. Mazzucato, that missile again is on Kraut. Kraut is just on the receiving end of many a missile. We can see the missile going into the ground, detonating into the Georgian countryside. No factor, Kraut is a man, a machine, a myth. And I said that totally out of order, but you guys get the gist of it. Single shot now, up to the north, dragging a 120. Many more missiles coming up from Harpia than we're seeing coming from 14th VFS. Missile tried to run him down, but just ran out of energy to be able to make the turn. Now, back down to the south against Steiny. He's gonna have to defend against a 120 coming in from Garrick. Garrick now in a head-on incursion with Kraut, and he may be in trouble. F-18 from Garrick, high to low shot, sorry, low to high and high to low, but Garrick makes mincemeat out of that incoming 120. Notched it and doesn't even come within half a mile of his jet, and the smart man, Garrick, jettisons his racks. How? Truly not often do we see that trigger. I just noticed went into the ground. Pausing this, we don't miss anything. So trigger goes into the ground and then Derby took down single shot. Let's take a look at what happened on tack view. So single shot gets bamboozled by Derby's 120. Smash in the face. Goodbye. And before that, we lost trigger. So trigger defending. against a missile from Cookie, doesn't connect, but we're down to a 3v3 without things happening rapidly, but sorry we missed that, guys. Multar, it, it wouldn't be a Saital stream if I didn't screw something up. Why don't we have music again? Oh, because we're on a different view. Like, what? where'd the music go? Hold on, let's fix that. There we go. All right, so back into the action. We're gonna re-pick up with Garrick, I think. Yeah, we're going to pick up with Garrett. So Garrett coming on, launching a missile off from his jet. There we go. Garrett in the F-18, launching a missile off of his jet onto Cookie. So F-18 against 16. Cookie just got away from an incoming threat, and now he's going to have to get away from another one. God, these ah, music tracks. All right, we should be good now. So Garrick and Cookie in the head-on. Who's going to come out alive, if anyone? Here we go. So Garrick launches a missile. Cookie has not launched anything yet. Maybe waiting to get a missile off. Now having to defend the 120 that is rapidly closing on his position. I don't think he's going to get away from it. He's going to get smashed, and he does. He's gone. Kraut now down to the south in the F-16. Very low. That's a tree. Jumped right out of nowhere. Boom. Tree's like, check out these ninja moves. Kraut didn't even see it coming blindsided, rips his aircraft a new one, Kraut's gone, and Steiny's the only one left for 14. So Steiny, the F-16, he's got one missile. One missile to rule them all! But I think it's a fake ring. Steiny's got the 1-120 one against Derby, Mazzucato, and Garrick. They've got plenty of missiles left. Plenty of missiles left. Steiny now defending a 120. Launch from Derby, another one launch from Garrett. Gets away from that one, gets away from the other one. Oh no, he doesn't. Goodbye. Steiny smashed by the 120 coming in from Garrick. He is dead. Man, feels so much better after having a break. I can jump back into this and be like, oh, get right in and going. I think that's what you guys missed.
But Harpia slaughters 14. Just slaughters. Man. What a showcase by Harpia. And I, I know, guys, we may have seen this match already. I'm sorry. It showed that it hadn't been streamed yet. Who knows? Who knows? Trees have the most impressive kill. No, 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 Chuck. The ground has the most impressive kill ratio. The trees, sometimes you can clip through them. Okay? Sometimes the magic sauce happens and you can just go through it. The ground? Well, I guess sometimes there's a magic sauce for the ground too and you can desync into it. And it looks like you should die, but then you don't. But it is what it is. Ground better than trees because the trees depend on the ground. Without the ground, the trees can't be there. And without the ground, the planes can't be there. So the ground is, OP is, I don't even know. It's the most OP. I couldn't think of anything, but it ended up working. So that is round one. Harpia dismantles 14. Can 14 do something, anything in round two? We're going to find out right after this break. Here we go, baby. Round two. Harpia against 14 BFS. Who's coming out on top right now? Harpia, kings of the skies. Woo! Gives me shivers just thinking about what they did to 14th BFS. Unlubricated ramrodding commenced in round one. The thrusting, sorry, I'll, I'll stop. I, I need to get up the sexual innuendos. I, <laughs> we need to try and keep this at least PG-13 instead of going down to mom and pop's, you know, elusive shop on the corner that you see off the highway. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just goes, goes there. Multar after a break is what? Dude, this is how it used to be. I just need some space, like, I, not space. I need some time to decompress. When I can't, like, when I'm doing it every day, my brain's just and it can't, can't keep up with what I'm trying to, well, my brain's great, but my mouth just can't keep up and the words don't make it. They, they don't free flow, okay? They don't make it out of my mouth. Voltar take five milligrams of value. <laughs> we all know that this is why you guys really tune into these streams, okay? It's not, well, it is. It's to watch the train wreck, and it's to watch me or listen to me be an absolute moron. Okay, that's, that's really why everybody's here. You guys can act like you need to deny it, all right? But that's the truth. That is the truth. See, Speed Demon gets it. Speed Demon's on board. He knows what's up. We all know why. But round two commencing. 14th, Scott, they got an uphill fight. They're old school, uphill both ways. All right, rain, sleet, earthquake, hurricane, and a tornado all at the same time. The grandparent story of matches. Well, Speed Demon, I'm glad you, you think that. Maybe I should change it up just to wreck your day. We need to have a Moltar screw-up emoji? Dude, yes. Somebody come up with one. I'll put it on. If you guys want to make emojis, do it. Do it and send them to me because I've got space, right? I have emoji space to put in for the stream. So if you guys have space and want to put them up, make it happen, send them to me and I'll add them to the stream if I think they make the cut. How did round one go? Round one, trigger, dominated by the ground, all right? Sub-dom relationship, ground was definitely the dom, and trigger was pulled in, kicking and screaming into submission. Unfortunately, his submission was death and an explosive fiery carcass all over the ground. Derby then came in, took out single shot. Garrick, splattered cookie, just, didn't even crumble, just threw it against a wall and exploded. Pieces everywhere. Kraut, another sub-dom relationship. Gone. Never to be seen of again. Into the dom's basement. Silence. Then Garrick again 
against Steiny. Just ripped them apart, stretched out those wings. They detached on the, whatever that torture device is, just slowly ripped them off, and then they were gone. It's not, wings are very critical. I mean, you need wings to fly. You gotta have them. Steiny unfortunately didn't have them and was therefore unable to sustain flight and died. It's very sad. Very, very sad. But we're in round two. Again, a Napa against Maycop. Harpia coming out of a Napa. 14th out of Maycop. Wrecked round one, no lube, but we came back. What does that even mean? You mean he came back to watch? Are you a cuckold raptor? I think we all just need to accept that this stream probably isn't for kids under the age of 25. A10 Warthog, question mark. So much for PG-13. Yeah, they said bite me, bite the pillow. I'm going. <laughs> that is great. That is awesome. I love it. Love it. A10 Warthog, the new the new guys coming in here like, what the hell did I just join? This is supposed to be DCS. <laughs> he's, I'm just picturing, bam, and he's got a question mark over his head like, what the hell is this? The team got wrecked round one, but hopefully they come back. Yeah, hopefully. Not old enough to rent a car, not old enough to watch the stream. See, Art9K's got it right. He's got it right. Come for the dog fight, stay. F That's how it is. People come because, like, oh, I want to watch, say, DCS. And then they hear what's going on. And they just can't get away. Foxbat, another first time guy. Ah! Guy's under 25. He must be under 25. I actually have no idea. But Harpia, let's, let's talk about the match now. Harpia, 14 VFS coming together. Harpia much closer to Bullseye than what we're seeing right out of 14 PFS. So if Harpia presses and they press hard, 14's gonna be in trouble. There is no safe word in this match. You're going down fighting. So you better be able to come out on top. No safe word was established. Aim 54 now out from Mazzucato. Let's ride along with it. Mark 60, 1700 knots, 41,000 feet. Coming down, Mazzucato was at a great shooting position. This thing's coming in onto either Steiny or Kraut. Southern F-16s doing a cross block with Cookie and single shot. Though it was a great launching parameter for this AIM-54, it is no longer tracking. So we're going to ignore it. Only missile having been launched so far is that AIM-54 from Mazzucato. So we've got one F-14, three 18s, Mazzucato, Garrick, Derby, and Trigger four harpy if you missed it earlier and then we have four 16s cookie single shot steiny and kraut four 14 we got an off aspect 120 coming from cookie can't even tell who this one's going to be on but it's not going to have a ton of energy as it comes in on its final target we can see it making its right hand turn i love this is the new tack view beta and whoo does it look good i love what he's done with it so far but this missile's coming in onto garrett garrick three miles away waits to get a 120 off Three and a half miles away, doing a split S. He should be fine defending that missile. Let's check out his jet. Here's the F-15. He's got nine sticks still. Nine 120s left on his jet. Two aim nine, so 11 sticks left on his aircraft. He is fine. Now we've got a missile, another aim 54 coming in on a cookie. Will the cookie be overcooked or is it going to be perfect? We're going to have to see where's that aim 54 is banking away from it aim 54 it's going to be behind him there it is 1.2 miles away how fast is that missile going 1.5 half mile we can see it it wants him it wants him but it's like the guy that sees the girl from across the restaurant that doesn't have the guts or the glory to be able to make the small talk to make it work and it's not able to make the connection cookie makes it away Garrick now defending 120, launched by single shot. 
F-18. We're going to stick down here with the South. 120 gets within 2.5 miles. But again, no confidence in that 120. Not able to come in when it mattered. And some other Giga Chad is going to come in here and steal the day. Garrick now recommitting in the F-18. Trying to make an onslaught onto Cookie. Garrick in the F-18, can he make it count when it matters? 120 out from him. Cookie launches a 120 himself. Garrick's gonna be in the driver's seat here. Multiple 120s encroaching onto Cookie. Closing, closing first one, detonates in the ground. They both don't make it. So Cookie lives to fight another day. He's gonna be all right. F-16 able to get in the notch or out energy those incoming spam rams. Garrick not able to make it connect. Now single shot in the F-16 for 14th, recommitting, trying to get the guys off of Cookie. Garrick now recommitting in his F-18. Garrick has all the missiles in the world. I think he's got eight 120s left. Now back in onto Cookie. This is gonna be a much closer shot. 120, now out from Garrick. Cookie needs to do something. He's doing a slight defense. Trying to get in a notch, but this is a low launch 120. Co-altitude now. He's not going to be able to get a low, below it. Pulls up, pulls up. No. Goes into the ground, but another one. Three and a half miles again. A co-altitude 120. Two miles away. I don't think Cookie's going to have enough time to get into the notch. Closing. 0.6, 0.5, third 120. Out from Garrick, but it doesn't matter. The first one connects and annihilates Cookie. Garrick with the first kill. First blood. So 2v1 now, down to the south, single shot all alone. Now on a northern charter to try and regroup with Kraut and Steiny up to the north. Missile now out from Trigger. That's going to be on to Kraut. Kraut defending, F-14 again, or F-16 again. Four sticks on Kraut's jet. Missile maybe broke off of him, no. See it now, flies underneath and hits the ground right in front of single shot, so he's okay. Kraut's got an aim 54 off to his right. 3.1 miles away, he's banking into it. This could be a disaster. Missile slow under Mach 1, so Kraut's gonna be fine. Kraut is okay. I think the man to watch again from Harpia, though, is Garrick, and Garrick is low. Garrick loves staying low. He's got Kraut out to his 10, two o'clock, six miles away, Re committing in onto Kraut. Missile out from Kraut. Missile's being exchanged between these two. Let's sit and watch from Garrick's point of view. Two miles away, that missile, Garrick immediately goes into the notch. He's fine, missile trash. Kraut also able to get away from that incoming AMRAM. Both guys doing a superb job trashing the incoming fence posts. Garrick looks to be a little bit faster on the recommit. On Kraut's nine o'clock, and then decides to break away, getting pressured from Steiny up to the north. So let's take a look at Steiny as he comes in from the north, launches a 120. Steiny's got two sticks left on his jet, 120 out on two. Looks like that's gonna be on a trigger. Is that gonna connect? Oh, come on. No, it's on Derby. So Derby dragging this 120. Oh, and then Garrick actually plowed Steiny. So Steiny went down. Steiny is dead. Goodbye. Was wondering what happened there, but Garrick gets the double. Double opening kill for Garrick. Trigger now recommitting in another F-18. Doesn't have the extra racks that Garrick has, but Trigger recommitting back in onto Kraut in single shot. We're gonna put Kraut in single shot on here. So here is Kraut on camera one, and then single shot is gonna be on camera two. So here we go. And Kraut up to the north, he's in a lot of trouble. Mil double missiles rack him in from the side. And now single shot's all that's left. Single shot again, finds himself all alone against the gaggle of incoming adversaries. And the one, oh man, I thought he was gonna get away from it. But single shot taken to Plowtown. And thrusting commenced by the incoming telephone pole. And man, I don't wanna see the splinters that came from that. Single shot gets annihilated by Mazzucato. And as quickly as that one started, everybody from 14th is dead.
We are back. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Second match of the day, 343rd Naval Air Group against Bravo Squadron. Who's coming out of the top? I don't know. You don't know, but we're sure as hell going to find out who's going to take it in this best of three. Top teams in 4v4 Diamond League. This is going to be a match. I'm excited about it. You guys should be excited about it. They're getting ready to take off. Let's take a look at who is flying in this matchup after I reload the overlay. There it is. So overlay has been reloaded. 343rd being represented by Starry Fox 9, Rossman, Vita, and Akas. One, two, three 18s and a 16. And then Bravo Squadron, Miha Pronin, Bobcat, Predator, and Strangers. That looks like one. Maybe all 16s, all 16s for Bravo Squadron. All of them. Four 16s and mainly 18s for 343rd. So an all NATO matchup, virtually 18 on 16. How is this one gonna go? Major missile advantage coming for 343rd. Multiple heaters on both teams. We're gonna have to see how this plays out. I don't know who's gonna take this one. Both teams are very equally matched. We're gonna see. We are going to see how this one goes. These guys are taking off. A Napa against Maycop again. 343rd against Bravo Squadron. These guys from Bravo Squadron have not departed yet. They are now, so Creditor and Miha Pronin our late departures out of Anapa. This has been a favorite for the teams, Anapa and Maycop. Predator's got a little bit more energy, some get up and go over his wingmen as they depart the runway. Somebody was asking about the Apache, delayed. But I'd rather have a good module and have it delayed than a big pile of poo and have it on time. Navy Doc says, Starry Fox 9, Notch Master, appears again. Bravo Squadron against 343rd. I could have kept that going, but my brain just died and I didn't, I didn't have anything else to say. Starry Fox 9 is an animal, though. How's he going to do? And he's very good offensively, not just defensively, very good offensively. So if we're going to watch anyone, Starry Fox 9 is going to be the man to watch. So let's pay attention to him. Let's pay attention to him. 4v4, Bravo, 343rd. Very evenly matched, in my opinion. The leaders of Diamond League 4v4. And we have not seen them fly in some time. I don't remember the last time I saw a 343rd flying. I'm very excited, and so should you guys. This could be one for the ages. Could be a match to remember. So get ready. You got some time. Get some snacks. Tell your significant other, significant other if you're lucky enough to have one, that, hey, don't disturb me. I'm watching one of the most critical showcases of aircraft art in modern history. Historic things are about to take place. Don't interrupt me. I need to focus. So everybody, let's focus. Bravo Squadron, 343rd. F-16 on virtual all 18. Missile advantage. 343rd. Energy advantage. Bravo Squadron. Who's going to take it? I love me the 16. The 18 flies like a dump truck, in my opinion. Yes, it, it's a very well cornering dump truck, okay? It's a race dump truck. It is a cart truck that dumps. <laughs> I just don't like flying it. I'm trying to talk badly about it. I like the 16. I don't know where I was going with that. 
Yamaha Man 4262001. I wish I had significant other to tell, leave me alone while I watch this. Yeah, but Yamaha, then you'd have to tell them to leave me alone. So you're in the absolute Chad position that you have to tell no one. I'll be your significant other tonight. Virtually hold hands. I mean, or if you're close enough, you guys can cuddle. Whatever gets you going. These guys are ingressing. Coming together before they let the big cylindrical objects fly. Lubricated or unlubricated? To the face or rear entry? How is it going to happen? Or it could be a body shot, you know? We don't know. Mr. Guitarist says, I'm watching aviation art. That's right. That's right. The military, the real world militaries need to know that this is aviation in its finest form. You can't rejoice freedom enough before being an American. I, I think I am very lucky that I am still very free to be able to do what I want. I, I lucked out, though. Not the first time. This is my second marriage, so I feel ya. I feel ya. I knew exactly what I wanted. You know, maybe everybody just needs to get married once but not share anything and then have it totally blow up in their face so that they know exactly what they want in the future. 343rd, burning fuel quite early. Yes. And that's more than likely because they want to be very energy efficient and be able to rapidly get into those notches and other defensive maneuvers. That's my guess, at least. In between you, had a blast, I believe. What does that even mean? Beef, what, what does that even mean? I have no idea. Between wives? Eh. Maybe. I don't know, not really. It more taught me what I wanted and what I didn't want. And I could just say, not you, not you, you suck, hate you, you're cool. Let's, let's, you know, maybe try something. Not you, you lied on your Tinder profile. And then I found my wife. There were many more lies on Tinder profiles than just the one, but that was enough to give you guys the picture. 343rd on a march while Bravo's still getting there. Dude, 343rd, they are some aggressive mofos. When Hornets are faster than the Vipers, play of the game. Yeah, over Mach 1. But they're very light. They only took center lines. And that is part, I think, of the 343rd game plan. Fast Hornet, something to be worried about. Predator, though. Predator coming in from altitude, unleashing that aim 120. Just saw one come off from Starry Fox 9. Multiple 120s in the air. Predator unleashing from Mach 1.3. Starry Fox 9, Mach 1.1. Both the guys defending aggressively and early. Look how low 343rd is. Look at this. No one above 15,000 feet. Most people under 10. That is crazy. They are ready to notch. They are ready to showcase the defensive arts. But is it going to work against Bravo Squadron? Oh no! Strangers from Bravo Squadron has, is he here? No, he's gone. So Strangers from Bravo has disconnected. Gone! Strangers, removed! Internet was like, no! I can't handle you, get out of here! You shouldn't be here, goodbye! Away with you! So he's gone. Bobcat now picking up the pieces, trying to get something on the hooks for Bravo Squadron. Vita comes in, launches 120 Mach 1.2, the single 16 from 343rd. Bravo Squadron's Bobcat now getting the missile warning inside three miles. Dives away, split S's, should be fine. That was a well launched 120, but well defended as well from Bravo Squadron's Bobcat. Now Miha Pronin coming in replacing Bobcat with Predator in another F-16, 11,000 feet, being pressed by Vita. Vita, not launching yet. Miha Pronin has launched. Vita, electing not to launch and coming in deep. 
goes straight into the notch. Decides not to out energy. Nope, I want to stay aggressive. Goes right into the notch, missile 1.2, half mile, still closing and trashed. Goodbye. Into the drink with you. Be gone, 120. So he's gone. Person to watch though, look at the aggression from Starry Fox 9. Look at him. Look at this. Trying to run down Predator and Predator recommitting into the face of a 120 now may know his gig is up, low to high shot. Starry Fox 9 takes Predator down. What a shot. And now Bobcat has another missile. Could we see the double in the face? The unwanted facial has happened. Starry Fox 9 with the double. Miha Pronin now trying to make something happen and get Bravo Squadron on the board. Miha Pronin, I need to pause because I just pushed the wrong button. Wrong button was pushed, but I don't think we're going to miss anything. Miha Pronin has launched onto Vita. Vita trying to get away in his F-16. Where is that missile? 1.6 miles away at Mach 2.5. This may be a problem. Miha Pronin is Bravo Squadron's last hope. Can he do it? 1v4. He may be able to get him started against Vita. Let's see. Here we go. Missile coming. 1.5. One mile. Unwanted body shot or facialization. Maybe coming. Half mile. 0.3. Pulls up at the last moment. Will it connect? Yes! Yes! He tried to make something happen. What? I don't know. With the tanks, but Vita is obliterated. Goodbye, and Mia Bronin gets Bravo Squadron on the board. Mia Pronin, though, is running, running for his life from the McGangbang that is trying to run him down. 120 from inside four miles. Mia Pronin trying to get away, says, no, I don't want it. Get it away. Arms waving ferociously in front of his face. Under a half mile, 0.4 miles, still running. Bubble Edge is going to be right here. I mean, right here, right, right here. Look at this. Look at this. He's right here. Bubble outside. Oh, no outside the bubble runs into the wall and 343rd threw him up against the wall and then plastered him one after the other starry fox 9 led the charge led the train and 343rd comes out with a very very intimidating round win why the fuel tank's still on sometimes you forget jimmy Come on, so you got to admit that sometimes you forgot. Sometimes you forgot your lights. Sometimes you forgot your missiles. Maybe that was just me, but we forget, okay? We forget things. I forget my brain sometimes. It happens. It happens. But that is the end of round one. How do they see the bubble from inside the cockpit? They can see it in the F-10 view, and they get auditory alerts and notifications in their cockpit when they enter this red zone that's right here so they'll get alerts saying hey you about to die please run up please turn around but unfortunately Miha Pronin had a runaway train trying to come come at him and he didn't really have anywhere to go so he got taken down cookie says bubble ground still undefeated this is true Jimmy says don't need fuel if you're dead that's very true. Very true. I mean, I dogfight with four J sows that went well until I had to pull up. <laughs> yeah, that probably didn't end well. I mean, it ended well for your opponent and the ground, but maybe not for you because you're dead. And being alive is, you know, critical to being alive. And that's the end of round one. So, guys, three minutes, round two, 343rd against Bravo Squadron. Does 343rd have it in him? Or excuse me, does Bravo Squadron have it in them? Because 343rd, they're looking good. They're like the other guy that your girlfriend tells you not to worry about. It's like them. But is Bravo going to man up, stop being an insult, and make something happen? We're going to find out. Round two, commencing now. 343rd against Bravo Squadron. 343rd, up one to nothing. Will they be able to come back and 
take a round from 343rd. I hope so, because we all like us some round threes. There we go. Overlay fix, 343rd again, represented by, they've made some changes. Papa no. Suni Kukun, Unamusuki, and Starry Fox 9. Bravo is Predator, Miha Pronin, Strangers, and Bobcat. Three 18s and a 14 for 343rd, and four 16s for Bravo Squadron. Starry Fox 9 got us started on a good foot in 343rd. Bravo Squadron was on the receiving end of a lot of that. Was unfortunate. But will they be the distribution? here in round one. We're gonna find out. We are gonna find out, and God, I hope so, because a round three is what I want for Christmas, and I think it's what all of you want too. Bring up real-time telemetry as these guys depart. Here we go. Real-time telemetry is off and rolling. Again, if you're just joining us, Bravo Squadron against 343rd Naval Air Group. 343rd is up one to nothing. Previous match was Harpia against 14th VFS Samurais and Harpia. It was a slaughter. It was like guns against the sword. Harpia brought the guns. It was rough. I want total 343rd domination, says Chamchulu. You might get it. You might get it. 343rd, the Japanese may bring, bring the pain. I want them to fall though in this battle so that we can have a, a battle for the war. A winner takes all round three. That is my want, my desire. Chris Kringle, please make it happen. Bring the ruckus, says Dread Platoon. They're still angry from the second side. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. These guys are ingressing. They have flip sides. 343rd out of a Napa again, and Bravo Squadron out of makeup. How is it going to go? Something change a topic. I made an announcement in the DCS World Events Discord. I need, if anybody is interested, the biggest, baddest flyby that you can make. Just short, simple, five seconds. Boom! Flyby for a Thrustmaster Christmas video that we will be featured in with all of their other content creators. So if you would like to participate in that, head on over to the DCS World Events Discord. Check out the announcement in the announcement channel. The submission needs to go to the Xmas Clip channel, and it needs to be a video, not a track. Sound is crucial for maximum enjoyment, okay? Do not forget the sound. It's very important. Sound makes it. I mean, what's, what's more enjoyment than joyful? What is more enjoyable? Jesus, can I talk? This. Or this. Okay, maximum enjoyment. Sound is 50%. Hell, it's probably over 50% of that factor and people forget this. Can't beat a full mill high alpha pass in the Hornet. Loud as fuck. Low and slow, yes. Dreadful Tunes got it. That was not a low alpha pass, but you know, you get the point. You get the point. Ah, oh, the first time I was waiting on the boom. Yeah, well, that's because it sucked. You know, you your blue balls, Stixers, it left you wanting more. You didn't, you didn't finish. It was terrible. A Tomcat would like to disagree. Dude, Tomcat, the, it doesn't matter. It all sounds glorious. Unless you're a Christian Eagle. But even then, it probably still sounds amazing. Probably still sounds awesome. Harry, I'm, oh my gosh, Speed Demon, you were right. Harrier on VTOL, 
is probably one of the loudest things I have ever heard. Saw one at the last air show I was at last year, and it I've seen them before, but I had forgotten. Holy crap! Is that thing loud? And I think one of the main reasons it's so loud is just because it's the sustained noise, and it builds, and it builds, and it builds, and your ears are screaming at you like, why are you doing this to me? You're taking years off of your hearing. Tinnitus is imminent. Poos? Poos too? Okay, you just got, I don't know what that emoji is for. Get with the program here, all right? Just, just get with it. It should be a happy cat. Not a mk okay cat, no, no, it shouldn't be happening. So which channel does the clip go again? DCS World Events, In the check the announcements channel at the very top, and then the Xmas clip channel is where you will post it. Your ears are wondering who plugs at concerts. Who is that? Your ears are wondering who has that commercial leaf blower. Are you comparing a Harrier to a leaf blower? What is wrong with you? That's why from now on I wear earplugs at concerts. I don't even go to concerts. I like music, but concerts are just like, ah, for an hour and a half, and it's just not, I, I don't enjoy it. It's too loud. It's not mixed properly. It's just bass and thump and awfulness. Give me a good mix. I saw the jet cars, and they were loud. Dude, yeah, jet cars are loud as hell. These guys are coming together. Missiles now off from Strangers and Bobcat. Are they going to have first blood this time? Son of Kukin, 21, and Starry Fox 9 have not yet defended. Starry Fox 9 now going into a defensive maneuver. Son of Kukin waiting to get a missile off. Here is Son of Kukin on the right. He is now defending. Missiles do not look like they're going to connect. Two missiles now off from both of those guys for 343rd. Strangers and Bobcat have already turned around. It's separated. Oh my God, the man, the myth, the legend has joined chat. Ladies and gentlemen, Starry Fox 9 is here. The defensive master. Everyone say hello to Starry Fox 9. These guys launched and then turned around. Nobody wanted to overcommit here in round two. 343rd, I guess, wanting to ensure that they don't lose. Bravo's, or they don't lose and take it in two. Bravo squad, I'm wanting to make sure they don't go out in a casket. Who's see, see, that's a better, that is better. That is a better emoji, okay? That is better. I like that one. That's what I look like when I play DCS. Controller up by the face, no joystick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I move so fast, there's an after image. Yeah, perfect. More of a wall formation coming from 343rd as opposed to Bravo Squadron. Two more missiles out. Mia Pronin and Predator now launching. One of those is going on to Papa No. Looks like a cross block. The other one's going on to a Namusuki. Let's grab the lead missile as it comes in on a Papa No. Papa No, not defending yet. Closing, closing from 17,000 feet, 1,300 knots. Missile now out from Papa No, three miles away. Missile no longer tracking, or if it is, it doesn't have the energy to be able to pull up. And its pullout game is lacking because into the ground she goes. The stick is broken. That is bad news, Bears. If you were the the owner of that stick. Mia Pronin now firing on to Sunakukin. Sunakukin responds with a 120 of their own. Multiple missiles on Sunakukin's jet. Let's get loud here, or a little bit louder. Sunakukin launched on a Mia Pronin. Mia Pronin is gonna have to defend. He's already defending. Neither of those missiles are gonna connect. Still great defensive flying by both teams. I knew Moltar was a controller guy. Yeah, direct platoon. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Please don't make fun of me. That's not me. So Mia Pronin's going to be fine. Going back to check out the tack view so we can get an overall view of the battlefield. Nobody has fallen yet to either enemy fire or their own sword. Who is going to be first blood? Bobcat launches a 120. That 120 is going up towards Papano. No, it's going down at Starry Fox 9. Starry Fox 9 immediately into the notch. Can we see the missile yet? Yes, we can. 3.6 miles away. Missiles like George, where'd it go? I don't know, disappear. Recognize that those missiles are trash, recommits. Now we've got a missile coming in onto Inamusuki up to the north. He is trying to notch it, flew by him, he is okay. 
recommits. Great job by him. Unamusuki. Unamusuki up to the north. Now having another missile launched on him from Miyaprona. This is going to be an off aspect shot from seven miles. Missile flies over him from Su Sunkuken. But Unamusuki defending late. Defending very, very late. Oh dear. Oh my. He is dead. Dead. Unamusuki gone. Gets railroaded by the incoming, or sorry, yes, railroaded by the incoming 120. What an awesome off aspect shot from Mia Pronin. Now, Son of Kukin launching off aspect or direct aspect onto Predator. Predator. No, no, no. Get it. No, he's in pieces. I was late. He's in pieces. Son of Kukin. Annihilates Predator. Sorry for the late grab there, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. Bobcat now launching onto Starry Fox 9. Can we see the missile incoming onto Starry Fox 9? Off of the right from Bobcat. Starry Fox 9 getting caught a little bit with his pants down. Belt is undone and he doesn't make it into the notch. Oh no! The humanity, Starry Fox 9, the defensive master, is not able to master the incoming fence post from fence post from Bobcat as he is taken down. Great shot, we're down to a 2v3. Papa No, on camera one. Son of Kukin, on camera two. Strangers, on camera three. How will this match go? How will it finalize? Bravo Squadron in the driver's seat. Papa No, driving towards an egressing Bobcat. Strangers coming in from the north, flanking onto Son of Kukin and Papano. Off aspect shot from Son of Kukin onto Strangers and Mia Pronin. Strangers launches, immediately dives. Is he going to be able to get away from that one? I don't know. Son of Kukin may have problems as well. Where's the missile on him? He's trying to defend or out energy. It flies right by his jet. Nobody has come to any missile in the last few minutes. Another missile coming in on the Papa No. That detonates into the ground. Let me fix track tack view so you guys can see where the missiles are coming from. And now, 343's in the driver's seat. They have reversed. The Uno reverse card has been played. And now they are running down the six of Bravo, Strangers, Mia Pronin, and Bobcat. Can Bravo recommit into the face of 343's Papa No? And Son of Kukin, Strangers, doing the recommit, the 180 degree turn, coming in onto the flank of Papano. Great shot inside four miles. Papano in much trouble. High to low shot. Dead. Papano, goodbye. Great shot by Strangers on the recommit. I love it. Son of Kukin, last man remaining for 343rd. 1v3. Bobcat. Now coming in. Launching on to Son of Kukin. Son of Kukin defending. Missile's going to be on his side. Do not see it. There it is. They're chasing each other. Look at Oh! Bobcat annihilated. Great shot by Son of Kukin. We could see it from Son of Kukin's point of view. And then the missile comes in and takes bra 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 Bravo's Bobcat down. Son of Kukin brings it to a 1v2. Mia Pronin and Strangers, only ones remaining, and Son of Kukin is in a bad place, and a bad place just got worse as he gets taken down. Oh, but Strangers has got a missile from Mia Pronin. The fratricide means that Mia Pronin is all alone, all by himself, and maybe that's what he wanted. Maybe that's what he was going for. I don't know, but that's how it ended. Mia Pronin all alone in the Russian border with Georgia. You know what that means? We're going to round three. Bravo Squadron takes round two over 343rd. The thing that everybody loves. The round three, the one that decides it all. The one thing where everything is on the line. Does Bravo Squadron have it? to keep it on, or is 343rd gonna be pissed off to the point that they're gonna come in and just 
break Bravo Squadron. We're going to find out in three minutes. Stick around. More Say Tell action coming at you in just a minute. Round three is where it's at. And that is where we are, ladies and gentlemen. 343rd against Bravo Squadron. Mia Bronin on the back of killing a teammate. Sole survivor in round two. Round two. And maybe that's how he wanted it. I don't know. We shall ever know. I mean, maybe we would if Mia Bronin were to come in here and tell us, but we don't know right now. That's all I know. But you know what I do know? Round three is here. Who's flying Bravo Squadron's Bobcat? Strangers. Mia Pronin and Predator. 343rds Rossman. Papa No. Null. 5733. And Starry Fox 9. So we've seen changes on both sides. Somebody in chat was asking, how often do you see draws? And they do happen. Somebody said all the time. They don't happen all the time. But they do happen. So how Saital works with its best of three is there's only three rounds. If round three ends in a draw, it is a draw. If you win in round one, one team does, then you draw in round two, then the other team in round, in round three wins, it ends in a draw. You don't keep playing. We don't want people flying endless numbers of matches because family first, real life first. We're not pros doing this. Nobody pays to compete, so we end in three. Now, when we get to the finals and stuff, yes. When you have to have a winner, yes. You will have to keep going. But for right now, in league play, you don't keep going because you don't need to. Is there any restriction on planes they can use? No. You can fly any plane. However, missiles are not kind of restricted. The AIM-9X can't use. Can't use any ground weapons because TA last year the cheeky bastards that they are, use tarpoons on hornets as poor man's talents. And damn, did they work. 64th during the finals was like, what? What is that? They were harpoons. And they caused confusion amongst the enemy lines. You know, I would love to see a BF-109 and a Spitfire going head to head on Saytel while everyone is heating 120s. Just flying, missiles flying over, and the BF-109 and the Spitfire are just in perpetual notchhood, not giving a shit. No air fast mover can get slow enough to gun them. They're just having their own fight, while the fast movers are having their own fight. They're another fight. What the hell, a harpoon on a Hornet? Wish I saw that, can't imagine it. Yeah, they did. In the finals, in the finals, mind you. It was amazing came out of nowhere no one expected it people got angry because they thought it was unsporting and maybe but man was it a good time man was it a good time i loved it loved it but guys we're here in round three 343rd against bravo squadron and it is gonna be awesome real time telemetry is up if anybody is new, and I've seen a lot of new faces today, if you have TacView Advanced, you can connect to my computer and drive your own TacView stream. Bet you didn't know that if you're new. So TacView, for whatever reason, hasn't been behaving correctly. I, I don't know why. Maybe one of the other guys that has TacView Advanced working can hit them up with the IP address to get connected. But it is amazing. People love it. Um, you can get all the telemetry, all the kills, because I'm sure as hell going to miss stuff. I'm not going to be able to pay attention to everything, even with my three DCS clients running at the same time. Hey, Tacky worked that time. Why does he sometimes listen and sometimes doesn't? I, I don't know. Why does that happen? Bodbot, what's wrong with you? Sometimes you're drunk, and then you're not, and then you are. What's up with that? Oh, and then if you don't have it, you can get 10% off by clicking that link. We got Gimped, though, says Robski. If you program them to turn, the turns didn't sync across all clients. So it could have been better if it worked properly. Yeah, but dude, it still worked, Robski. It, it was still amazing. Still awesome to watch. Like just seeing those come off the jet was very confusing. Why is that? Has that always been like that?
attack you capture. There we go. Get that off the screen. Boom. Fixed. So these guys are ingressing. Mainly 18s from 343rd and the Singleton 16. And then all 16s for Bravo Squadron. Will the energy fighters win? Or will the fast maneuvering dump truck of the F-18? You need to incorporate a no limits, anything goes round just for the fun of it. Maybe the bottom two bad beat redemption round. What? Damn, Predator is flying high. How high is Predator? Where is Predator? 40,000 feet. That's pretty good. He's got to get his energy up. First 120s being launched by Bobcat, Starry Fox 9, and no. Are those going to connect? I highly doubt it, but we will see. They are flying. Mach 3. 343rd, I'm not used to seeing them up this high. 343rd also moving into a box formation. 40K at 1K. Well, he's not 1K. He's Mach 1.1, which is probably what? 800 knots? Ground speed? I don't know what indicated is. Probably 300? Probably? Would be my guess. Chat, anybody know better than me? Oh, Matt Mach 1? Yeah. He is. Well, now he's Mach 2, 1.2. He's accelerating. Rookie numbers. Let's see that man hit 40. Oh, I'm not saying he's the highest we've ever seen. By no means is that true. Nor is he the fastest, but he is. He was high and fast. Higher than we normally see. Him, for sure. For sure. Stranger's now dragging 120. Bobcat's already got away from his. No, also dragging 120. All those guys are going to be A-OK. -okay, no problems for any of them. Strangers, let's take a look at him as he drags this 120, 2.8 miles away, totally out of energy. He is gonna be fine. Why is he at 69% engine RPM? I guess he's trying to conserve fuel. He's not moving. Strangers, wake up. Wake up. Oh dear. Just ripe for rear entry. He's gone. That's unfortunate. That is not the start you want if you are Bravo Squadron. Mia Pronin coming in for Bravo, launching the 120, immediately dives away, says, supporting 120s is for wusses. We may have been able to support it through that dive. He's recommitted. Missiles at 26,000 feet, Mach 2.7. Papa No now getting the missile warning, diving away for 343rd. Reminder, 343rd was out of Maycop. Bravo's out of a Napa this time. But 120's halfway there and then gives up the ghost. Can't make it. Mach 1.5. No way in hell is that missile going to catch Papa No. Not going to happen. Now down to the south. Noel coming in for 343rd. Can Noel and Noel's F-18 get 343rd on the board? Bravo's already suffered a disconnect. Are they going to be, is Bravo going to be able to even the odds at three apiece? Or are things going to snowball and get bad, more, something worse from here for 343rd? Missile now out from Noel. Probably on an already cold Mia Pronin. Maybe on Bobcat. Actually, looks like it's on Bobcat. Let's take a look at Bobcat. Bobcat in the F-16. 530 knots indicated. He's got five sticks left on his jet. Missile is indeed on Bobcat. 3,000 feet, Mach 1. Trying to get away. Full cold now on that 120 that's trying to run him down. It's not going to happen, but it's going to try. 343rd, still four pilots remaining. Starry Fox 9 coming in in the center. Being aggressive. Nine sticks still on Starry's jet. Predator unleashes a 120. Starry Fox 9 not reacting yet. Missile 8.5 miles away. It's actually probably a lot closer. Now getting the missile warning. It's actually not on Starry Fox 9. Elects not to go defensive. Predator is in trouble. Predator is getting multiple missiles launched on them. Predator may be in a bad place. Mia Pronin also may be in a bad place. Both these guys may be getting caught a little bit with the pants down. Mia Pronin especially. Missile inside half mile. Point three. Imminent unwanted face mile. Mia Pronin gone. Down to two. Predator and Bobcat. Only ones remaining. Here's Bobcat trying to be aggressive. Still's got the tanks on. 
up to the north. Predator getting launched on. Split screen on both these guys. Predator, missile coming from Starry Fox 9. Predator running and running aggressively. Launches a missile on somebody trying to pursue Bobcat. Bobcat now flying headlong into incoming missiles from Starry Fox 9. Both those guys look like they're gonna live to fight another day. Papa No, now picking up the aggression. Going to try view on everybody so we can see everything going on. Predator, Bobcat, thinking about recommitting. Both of them have 120s coming on them. Papa No launches another 120. He's got one aim nine, launches another one. Missiles all over the place. Bobcat in a world of trouble. Multiple missiles coming from all kinds of different directions. Bobcat trying to out energy, multiple threats. One goes into the ground. Another one's out of energy. I don't think he's, oh! And then I didn't see that one coming. Predator gets bamboozled. He's gone. Bobcat, only one remaining, all alone. Against the train of 343rd, and this thing is gone from bad to worse to nigh unsurmountable for Bravo Squadron. Bobcat now recommitting into the face of Rossman. Rossman unleashes a 120. Bobcat does the same. Bobcat defending. Rossman also defending, putting them on split screen. As Rossman defends, Starry Fox 9 and Papa No immediately fly by. Bobcat trying to defend. Missile inside half mile. Multiple missiles inside half mile. Looks like he's going to be able to get away from him. No problem there. Well, lots of problems, but oh, wrong, wrong button. Going to look at Bobcat, Bobcat recommitting into the face. Aim nine from Papano. It was his last missile and it connects. I don't think it would have mattered if that one connected or not because Starry Fox 9 was going to be there to pick up the pieces. But 343rd comes out with the round win and the match victory. What a show. I'm out of breath. Third comes out and says we shouldn't have lost round two. We are pissed. And after seeing strangers disconnect, they unleashed the onslaught. A torrential downpour of munitions. I mean, look at this tack view. They saved nothing. Nothing. Look at this. Just missile. You get one. You get one. You get one. It's like there's four Oprahs unleashing missiles on Predator and Bobcat. Look at Papa No. One, two, three, four. Look at this. Using the tax dollars, the taxpayers' dollars to take down their adversaries. Damn. I mean, everybody has like four missiles on them simultaneously. Nobody wanted to go home with anything, nothing. But it forced Bobcat and Predator on the ever, never ending defensive. They were never able to recover. And they paid for it. Great use of munitions by 343rd guys. They are gonna be a force to be reckoned with here in the late game. Just what a showcase by 343rd. Bravo's a good team. Bravo is a very good team. Very good. But 343rd comes out and routes them. Checking to see if we've got a match coming tomorrow. I think we do. Who is flying tomorrow? Today's 13th. Marco is going to be broadcasting VTAF against Team What the Fuck. It's going to be Gold League 4v4. So we'll be looking forward to that one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to share the load with everybody. So we've had more streamers come in. Go give them some love. They will be streaming on this channel. Make sure you tune in. We may have some hiccups along the roads, connection issues and stuff, but they're, they're just getting into it, ladies and gentlemen. So I've been doing this for a while, and I still fuck up all the time. So 
Give him some patience. Give him some love. Marco's going to be streaming VTAF against Team What the Fuck. I will be releasing the highlight from that match today. I got to go do the overlay for it, so or the voiceover for it. So be watching for that on Twitter and on YouTube. But Marco's doing that one. I will be doing matches on the 15th. I don't know. I do know. Oceanic Combat Group against Nemesis and then Ta against Bravo Squadron. I think those are my two matches. I need to make sure and see if they've flown yet. No, you want Moltarp? Dude, you get... Everybody's a great streamer. I will be back on the 15th, but notice how much more energetic I am today, okay? When I get a break, you get the best of me. So I need a break. I, ca I can't do this everyday stuff anymore. So the other streamers are graciously stepping up. Give them some love. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so Marco's tomorrow. I'll be back on Wednesday. And then I'm not sure if anybody's doing on Thursday. I may be able to do it. I got to post the next streaming schedule. We'll have to see. But, guys, that is the end for today. Congratulations to Harpia and 343rd. Tough fights from 14th and Bravo. Tomorrow, VTAF against Team What the Fuck. Buckle up. Should be another good one. I'll see you guys myself on Wednesday, the 15th. Marco will see you tomorrow. Until then, guys, fly safe in those virtual skies, as always. I'll see you later. Have a good one.